manufactured in Taiwan. Oh, I can use a beer after this. That's the sound of our coffee machine. Yep. So I work a lot, all week. So now it's Sunday and I'm trying to make a video about this new gun. But yeah, it's not going very smoothly. That's the sound of the oven. Need to wait until that's done. Thinking of new content, creating new content. Hope people like it. Like you can see, these gloves are worn out. It doesn't take a lot to uh, wear them out. Well, did some scrums with it, but yeah, it's going quite fast. Trigger hand, hand guard hand. So you can see if you have a sharp handguard, you will fuck up your gloves. Well, this is the moment I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say, and how I'm gonna say, because most of you already know I'm Dutch. So switching to English is quite hard. Well, it's not hard, but I need to overthink some things. It's not all natural. So. Mm -hmm. Playing the gun. <laughs> Feels and smells like a new gun. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to review the Shima CM028A. Bought this gun recently. Had it for four days right now, three days, four days, I don't know. Didn't have the opportunity to uh, make a video because I work a lot. So today's the day I'm gonna review this gun. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Let's for fast forward this because it's going to be a pain in the ass to watch a whole video of me unboxing this box. Ah, 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 ah. So So, this is it, this is the gun, let me show it to you guys, so this is the Saima CM028A, it's a real budget gun, it's a real cheap gun, but I was pretty surprised when I opened the box and I uh, took a look at it. Some styrofoam on it. So let's take it off. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised. Um, what you will get is a pretty much full metal gun. And that's something I was really surprised about. I mean, if you buy it new, it will cost around 90 euros in Holland. And for that kind of money, I didn't expect this at all. So yeah, pretty, pretty surprised. Positive. So let's get into the box, what you're gonna get with the gun. You get a simple charger with it. Watch my other videos. I don't recommend simple charges. I always recommend buying a good charger. What you get is a battery. Well, like I said, buy good batteries. This is a NIM battery. And 
I'm not a big fan of new batteries. I like LiPo batteries. Um, this one is about 8.4 8 volts, 1100 milliamps. Um, yeah, I always use uh, LiPo batteries, 7.4 volts. So that's what I would recommend. What you get is a, uh, yeah, how do you call it? It's a tool for your sides. You put it on your sides and you can adjust or get your side out. Pretty handy. And of course you get an AK magazine. Um, yeah, metal, also surprised about that, but yeah, you saw my videos and I'm not a fan of high caps, stupid wheel. Ah, no, don't like it at all. I'm still surprised about everything that came in the box. I mean, it's a cheap gun. I bought this from another airsofter and he didn't use it at all. So I almost bought it new. So I had a small deal when I bought it. A good deal, I must say. I didn't own an AK and I wanted an AK, I mean, what's a gun collection without an AK? The design of an AK, the simple design, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So, let's look at it. This is what you're gonna get if you buy it new for around, yeah, 90 euros. It's a steel. It's such a great looking gun, so well made, for a very, very low price. I mean, Saima makes a lot of cheap guns, but it isn't necessarily, necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you're a beginner in a begin, a beginner airsofter, why, why would you buy a Crytek or a GAG or something that's really expensive if you don't know what airsoft is and you want to try airsoft just buy a cheaper gun i mean it's a nice way to start learning airsoft yeah you can fiddle around with it you can um, completely disassemble it learn how to um, modify your guns prepare them if you want to do it yourself please note um, when you open up a uh, airsoft rifle, almost all of the time the warranty will expire. So if you buy it new, just get back to the to the store and let them fix it for you, or they will send it to the manufacturer and they will fix it for you. But if your uh, warranty expires. Buy a cheap gun and do it yourself. A second hand one or a new one. These guns are just cheap. And cheap isn't always a bad thing. So, let's get back to the gun. The whole receiver, everything is metal. It's all metal. It's metal, 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 metal. It's all metal. I'm pretty stoked about it. So you have your uh, dust cover. So if, you're, if you have a real AK, okay, this one. Shoot back. Every time when you shoot around through it. But in this case, when you pull it back, you can adjust your hop-up system. That's quite neat. I mean, look, look at just, just the sound of it. It's full metal. Everything is full metal. Alright, so you have your sights. 
iron sights. You push those two pins here. You can adjust your sights. Metal, come on! And let's get to the plastic parts. Polymer, ABS, what's it called? I don't know. But your handguard and your rail system, and that's all uh, made out of uh, plastic ABS. Give it a name. Now you have your reel up here and you've got two small pieces of reel on the side and a big piece of reel on the bottom. Let me show you. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Your stock is made out of uh, plastic and your hands, uh, your, your uh, pistol grip is also made out of plastic. But the rest is all metal. Pretty amazing for this gun. Pretty amazing. Um, the Saima shoots out of the box about 300 FPS, 1.2 joules, I think. Haven't tested on the Chrono yet. Um, did some research on it, and when you buy it new and it comes out of the box, they will say it will shoot around 400 FPS, 1.5 joules. Um, if that's the case, I would have a problem because in the Netherlands I can't shoot it. So that would be a problem for me, but if I need to believe what's on the box, this was good shoot. Like I said, around 300 FPS, uh, 1.2 joules. So that would be perfectly for me. Um, I will test it on Chrono um, maybe later today, I don't know. But I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, you have your fire selector here for an auto and semi-auto and your safe mode. That's quite awesome. Also, it's full metal. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful gun. It's a beautiful gun and it's a cheap gun and I would recommend every beginner airsoft a gun like this. You can't go wrong with it. And let me show you something else. When you push this button right here on the back, you can get your uh, what's it called? upper receiver cover off, dust cover, I don't know, but you can get it off and check some things internally. Um, that's pretty handy. When you do it, you can unscrew some screws here and take the rest off. If you have a warranty on it and something breaks, send it back to the store and let them figure it out. If you don't have any warranty, that's how you start. Take it off and strip the gun. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, if you push this stock plate down, like this, you can insert your battery right here. It's it's a big uh, battery compartment, if you want to know. I have no clue if you can see it right now. But there's a lot of room for any type of battery. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. They did a good job on that. Put it back and just slide it up. And that's it. Well, let's fit the mag. What you do is you have a small gap in front and you hook it up and it will click in right like that. Yeah, I mean, this is a sick looking gun. Yeah, let me turn the gun around. <coughs> We've got two sling attachments, sling points, one here and one here, and what a surprise, metal, it's all metal, I'm pretty stoked about it. So this is the end of the video, I hope you like it, so please leave a comment in the comment section, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already a subscriber, and put on the post notification button so you won't miss any videos in the future. Um, I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Love you.